Just Soccer Stars Football Reality TV Show House. This is the second leg, second semi final in the show. It is Adamawa FC against Ogun FC. And leading them out from the tunnel is the referees. And in their traditional red and their goalkeeper in black is Ogun FC. In their traditional blue and the goalkeeper in orange is Adamawa FC. And straight from there, we will be taking the Nigerian national anthem. That is the Nigerian national anthem that officially opens the game and straight from the players is Adamawa FC. Players getting familiar, taking the handshake and fist bumps to the referees and then to the Ogo FC players and for Ogo FC players, they are returning in this game. I'm seeing TB Joshua starting this game. He didn't start the first leg of the semi-final. Also, I'm seeing Ikono starting this for Adamawa, he didn't start in the first day. And that's Sharif. Sharif has gotten us moving. And that is it right there. A 0 0 was starting. First leg ended 1 1 uh, between these two teams. And we set up a tasty, feisty, um, you know. Uh, game for the second leg. This is a fixture we want to see all four teams in the semi final. A fantastic team. I think it is well won. There was no luck at all. You put in the final for who takes the day in this one. And that's um, young Ayenuba punching and hitting that ball out because it's a good, good deep throw that almost caused trouble, but the goalkeeper was equal to that. Another one, and there's a huge save, but I think that's a ball off target. Oh my word, that's a ball off target. But the young Daniel, probably, that's TB Joshua. This is the reason why I had to start this game. This is the reason why the referee, um, the team Bob David, is turning up the style. And that's Kevin right there. Kevin, also another player that, that didn't materialize into anything. And that's a bean for Ogun FC. That's TB Joshua. That's Wisdom. But he couldn't get to uh, Wisdom right there. In about to have a long throw. I'm wondering if these players all went to learn long throws because it's become something that we are accustomed to. We see it like every other time. And that's the massive captain Latif. But in that ball in, but the defense of Adama YFC putting it, you know, to the corner. And Obodinho is ready to put in the cross. And that's a good save. What a massive save by Daniel right there. I think um, what is happening to TV Joshua is holding his, uh, his knee. It looks like he's in pain. And uh, wow, these games are coming thick and fast. This game are gruesome. This looks like the English Premier League, where you play game in, game out, like in the Christmas period and the New Year period. You play matches like every day. A good cross in by Obodinho and a good nodding. But I was talking about Daniel earlier, and that save he had. That ball is bouncing and bouncing around um, the Adama YFC goal. Maybe eventually to drop for somebody from Kano, uh, from Ogun FC. And 
Okay, there is an infringement and it is Adama YFC is having a sigh of relief. That's Abu with the throw and from Abu to Shei, Shei back to Abu. Abu is one of those fullbacks you always love to have. Oh, that ball came behind him and he couldn't hold on to it. That, wow. I thought that is a good pass from Sherry, but it didn't get to wisdom. And that has put um, attack back to defense. That is for UFC and that's a Connor Jr. Trying to pass his way through. He's moving. He's dropped that ball for Shei. Shei can be a super midfielder and was seeing that. And that's Dudu. Wow, Dudu slipping off. And is this a foul? No, the referee has said play on. Let's move on with the game. And that's um, Abu with the touch. He had the own goal. He picked himself up. He dusted himself. And he got on with the walk. Talking about doing it the way it should be done. Is somebody going to creep in behind it? Abu, Abu, no. Stadium. Talking about how Onana was wrongly placed. Bob saw that and Bob took all advantage of that. And he didn't need any power. He just needed to pick his spot, beat Onana skillfully. And you can see this game is looking like it's not as open as the first leg. Start checking. Uh, for the game to go seamlessly without injury worries. I'm seeing Dudu uh, wait, uh, trying to get that ball crossed, and yes, he did. Okay, but that's definitely, um, you know, a that's the end of the first half. The referee has signaled that it's ended. Ogu zero, Adamawa zero, and this is a feisty one, and we'll see what the second half portends. My name is Femi Okwabume, ex Nanja International. Keep watching Nanja Soccer Stars reality TV show. Thank you. I have been asked to talk to sponsors. I really wanted to talk to you guys before. I know you sit at top monies, you know, of corporate organization. I know that your corporate social responsibility also is about giving back to the society. And I know that you've done quite a number of things across very many divides in our country. But I'd like for you to look in the direction of Niger Soccer Stars. We have very, very many talented footballers who are hoping that you will look at them, that you will give what they are doing, Philip, give what they are doing, some strength, so that they can be the best they can be. But what I promise you, that you have maximum visibility maximum top on the mind awareness maximum goodwill you know and that will be worth the while thank you sponsors in advance i hope you come in now watch out for niger soccer star season two new ego edition niger soccer star season two hi i am rupert or genua i'm the ceo of niger soccer stars watch out for niger soccer star season two new egos showing next year but registration begins right now. My people, I want to tell you about this oil. The name is Kenzo oil. The oil is a very, very good oil, well good for Yamoto. In fact, Kenzo oil is a special oil because of saying a fully synthetic oil. It's good for your motor, it's good for your engine, it's good for every other engine where you want to use. This kind of oil, if you use it for your motor, I see your motor going to go seriously really wherever. Really, really. Use them for your motor to last long. Hey, uh, Aya, you don't just finish, have you? Bring my sister, I'm going to come here back. Kenzo oil, Ababa. Do you have what it takes to be a soccer star? If yes, 
This is an opportunity for you to be a part of the Niger Soccer Star Season 2. Register on www.nigersoccerstars.com slash register or www.sendmeniger.com www.sendmeniger.com And the boys are back on the pitch and Bob David has gotten us moving and it is time for decision making. This half will tell all of the story like it is in every semi-final. It's either make or ma in the second half if nothing happens in the first half and for the second leg of the Ogun versus Adamawa game. The first half has ended 0-0. The second half, decision has to be made. Who blinks first? Who gets the first goal? Or probably who gets the goal that will get the team to the next phase? Talking about the final, we'll wait and see. If that doesn't happen, talking about goal. She wants to have a throw. He might just have a rethink. Yes, he's have a rethink to go for the long one. And that's a long one right there. Delicate place. Is it dropping? Is it going to be for Adam Awais? Is somebody's pointing? Is that not an hand to the ball? It is a penalty. No, but this time it's Santi having to throw the long one. And he did. But it's no trouble at all for the defense of Ogo FC. One from Wisdom and want to see more. Oh, what a movement by Sheyu. What a pass. That is Sheyi Anyide and he passed straight to Latif, the captain of the team. And Latif is on the ground, he's holding his legs. Latif is limping. Oh my word. The captain of Adama YC is limping. He's being helped out by his players. That's Dudu and also Kevin, helping him to the sidelines where he will need attention. If he's good enough, he'll come back in. But I'm scared. The man looks like that leg is not easy again. Oh, I, and I can see Latif standing there. Probably he's ready to go and he's signaling to the referee to allow him to look at him right there. He's standing on his both legs. Um, I was talking about his partnership with Palmer. Both have, you know, uh, developed some uh, telepathic understanding and it's been very productive. Substituted in this game for Ogu FC and um, with attackers and now he's out. I'm sure the coach is already racking his head around how we could manage that excess and get the team still to do something great. Still we're waiting for the first goal to come in this match. This is the second uh, leg semi-final of the game between Ogun FC and Atamawa FC. The first leg ended 1-1. Second leg, still no goal. As much as we have some of the best attackers. And it's the final whistle by the referee. It has ended Ogun 0, Atamawa FC 0. And that takes us straight to penalties. That less with attackers and now he's out. I'm sure the coach is already racking his head around how we could manage that excess and get the team still to do something great. Still we're waiting for the first goal to come in this match. This is the second uh, leg semi-final of the game between Ogo FC and Atamawa FC. The first leg ended 1-1. Second leg, still no goal. As much as we have some of the best attackers. And it's the final whistle by the referee. It has ended Ogo 0, Atamawa FC 0. And that takes us straight to penalties. Like I was saying, these teams have got some of the best strikers in the competition and they cannot get goals in 90 minutes. Trust me, the defenders and also the coaches understand what is at stake and they manage the attackers very, very well. It's time for penalties and the first taker right there. It's a goal. Yes, it's a good goal and that is a goal from um, Matthew to Onana. Yes, he got the better of Onana, and there is wisdom 
to Daniel. Oh, what a sumptuous goal by wisdom right there. These two have been at each other all day long. Onana against um, the Adama YFC player. And that's a goal. Yes, that is a beautiful, beautiful goal. To that point of 2-1. Let's see what Bogba will do against Daniel. Oh no, he's blazed it over. Okay, it's a goal. It's a goal. I thought he's blazed it over. It's a goal. 2-2 two, two it is. I thought Daniel is celebrating, but it's actually a goal. Now it's a corner stepping up for Adama YFC against um, Onana. And I'm seeing Onana playing a lot of mind game. This goalkeeper has sure watched a lot of football matches in the penalties. It's a corner going to get better. It, a corner out. A corner has lost the first penalty in this. And it is 2-2 as much as the YFC have got the advantage. If this man scores, he has put Ogo FC right ahead. Can Savior save them? Can Savior do something beautiful? And Savior has gone up and Savior has gotten them a goal. Savior has saved them. Savior has put Ogo FC right ahead. It is 3 2. And he has gone straight to the goalkeeper. And you can see Wisdom also running up to Savior. And Savior has told Onana, just keep this going. Save balls that you can. Unsettle the attackers, and this is a man that everybody is loving at the moment. And Bob David has stepped up, and Bob David has gotten a goal. Bob David is giving Adama YC a lifeline. It is 3 3, but advantage of UFC because they've got one more kick advantage over Dio. Over Dio's penalty has been saved by Daniel, young Ayenuba picking his position and that is beautiful, wow! What a way to pick a ball, what a way to get that save. I'm sure Obodinho didn't have that intention but it happened because maybe he should have drilled that ball even way deeper. And this is Daniel, Daniel is going up against Onana. And it's a goal by Daniel Ayenuba, he has scored. What a game we're having already. 3-3, um, three, three, it is 4-4 four, four penalties taken. And I'm seeing Richard stepping up to play against Daniel. What is going to happen? Central defender against the goalkeeper. Is it going to be the goalkeeper? Laugh is going to be the central defender. It is the central defender. What a beauty. This man reminds me of Fernando Hierro. Who? Who? Yes to score penalties for fun as calm and cool and he gets every goalkeeper to shake whenever he grabs that ball to take a penalty and that is what Richard just did. But let's see if Adama YC with Abu will be able to recall. Abu has stepped up and Abu has gotten that goal beautifully sending Onana the wrong way. Onana needs to do more in getting one of the ball for um, you know, Ogu FC to go on, but as it stands, it's still same way to Ogu FC. I've got the advantage. This is Sharif Alajim Alomaizin. Is he going to score? Is he going to lose? Let's see how it goes. Oh, and it's been saved. Daniel has saved that ball, and that is the end. 
Daniel has saved Elijah Malumaizin's penalty and he has taken them to something we call the Rado, like we will say, take me to the final. And Daniel has shot, taking Adama Waisi to the final. Look at the celebration, look at the screaming from Adama Waisi players. This is the beauty of football, but also the agony of the round later game. And if you check out right there in, you know, adding up the goals from the first leg is Adama YFC 6, Ogu FC 4. Wow, 4-3. Four, hmm. This is what penalties are all about. Ogudinho is telling them, let me shed the tears, leave me. And Adama YFC are grabbing on their coach, saying, Coach Sabi, thank you so much for putting us well. This is sad day for Ogu FC. This is one of the best teams in this competition. And they had to lose two games on the bounce. I'm sorry, really, for Ogu FC. This is not how it should end. This is not the way it should be. But football can be very cruel. But for Adama YFC, they will remind you that football can also be very, very beautiful. Richard had a good penalty kick. Scott is, did his own part. But sadly, he couldn't do others. Um, he couldn't do the part for others. Over Dio, also sad. Over Dio is um, thinking about how he got to lose his own penalty. And look at everybody trying to. I'm getting emotional with this. I'm getting to feel what this man is feeling. My name is Femi Okwabume, ex Nanja International. Keep watching Ninja Soccer Stars reality TV show. Thank you. My name is Ayi Teslim Bukola, aka Teslima. I play for Enugu FC. I'm all for volleyball efficient. Click on the info for me. My voting code is 54972299. You can also send money to my providers account so on the screen. Please vote for me. Hello, viewers. My name is Emmanuel Alfred Obiton, and I'm playing for Enugu FC, and I'm up for possible eviction. Please kindly vote for me. My voting code is 54972975497297297. -4 and you can also send money to my providers account showing on the screen to vote for me. Thank you all. My name is Siza Victor Ikechuku. I'm up for possible eviction and I play for Enugu FC. Please kindly vote for me. My voting code is 54972915497291. -4 you can also send money to my providers account on the screen showing you see my bank details. You can also send money to vote for me. And as you vote, God bless. My name is AJ Joseph Oboro, aka Josh. I play for Enugu FC and I'm up for possible eviction. Please kindly vote for me. I need your vote at this very moment to stay in the house to the very last end. And my voting code is 5497304. You can as well pay into my providers' bank accounts showing on your screen to vote for me. Thanks. God bless you. Good day, viewers. My name is Akele Jola. I play for Kano FC. I'm up for possible eviction and I need you guys to vote for me. My voting code is 54973331. In order to save you the stress, you can also vote for me through transferring money to my providers bank account. Show you the street. Thank you. Hello viewers. My name is Eze Miraku I play for Kano FC. Please viewers, I'm up for possible eviction. Please I plead for your votes. Please vote for me. My voting code is 5497308. To save your distress, you can also vote for me on my providers account showing on the screen. Thank you. Hi everyone, my name is Olado Portolokwe, aka Tolushi. I play for Kano FC. I'm up for possible eviction. Can you please vote for me? My voting code is 54972930. And to save yourself distress, you can send the money for vote to my providers account, which is shown you on the screen below. Thank you. My people, I want to tell you about this oil. The name is Kenzo oil. The oil is a very, very good oil, very good for your motor. In fact, 
Kenzo oil na special oil because of saying a fully synthetic oil. It's good for your motor, it's good for your engine, it's good for every other engine where you want to use. This kind of oil, if you use it for your motor, I see your motor go to go seriously where it is. Use them for your motor to last long. Hey, you don't just finish, I think. Bring my sister, I'm going to come here back. Kenzo oil, Baba. -ba. Do you have what it takes to be a soccer star? If yes, this is an opportunity for you to be a part of the Niger Soccer Star Season 2. Register on www.nigersoccerstars.com slash register or www.sendmenigertogetherasaword.com www.sendmeninja.com Beautiful day, clement weather, nice, nice atmosphere for a huge, massive match like this. It is the second leg semi final of the match between Kogi FC and Kano FC. The first leg ended 1 1. And the second leg will serve us with the closure. Talking about it being settled today. The referee is leading out the charges, and you can see all of the stalwarts coming from behind. And that is the national anthem of Nigeria. And there is something already seen. But before we get to that, is Kogi FC taking the handshake and the familiarity of fist bombs straight to the referees and then the Kano FC players. And the Kano FC players right now, after responding, are taking it. It's Kogi FC playing from left to right and Kano FC playing from right to left. And I think Kogi FC will be getting us moving. This is what I wanted to mention earlier. Yes, Osha will be spearheading the attack for Kogi FC, but there is a man who didn't start the first leg, but came in and got the goal, and the coach felt, with what you did, you should definitely start in the second leg, is a Zumezu. And we have moved right there. This is the Kano FC coach um, you just saw there. This, like I had said, has everything that has into the area. Yes, there is a nodding, but there is Peters. Is it a corner kick? I think it's a corner kick. Yes, it's a corner kick. The goalkeeper was trying to get to it, but it didn't happen, and it led to a corner kick. Ezumezu came in, got the goal equalizer for um, Kogi FC, and trust me, they needed to just give him a chance in the second leg. And let's see if that will pay off eventually. Some people are known to just be super so that's Ajasa on the top and also on board trying to get him up. I think I'm seeing something already. It started from the defense. Even in this game, he's a natural defender. Also, it started from the Lloyd to play in the attack. We'll wait and see that. If he doesn't return to his natural position, I'm talking about central defense, then this man might just have been deployed. That should have been a goal. That should definitely 
and there is an argument going on. I can see Razak also speaking, but Razak is not known to be in such situation. Yes, he's not known and he's been pulled out of there. It is um, Nihungu and uh, um, Kogia Sipley and they've both been brandished to yellow card. M. Peters is standing to take the free kick. It's good. He went straight direct and it's a goal. It is M. Peters with the first goal of this game and that straight is to the goalkeeper who squandered that. That is the reason why he is a big man in this team. That is the reason why he is a little weapon. That is the reason why he's been deployed to the attack. That is the reason why this man takes out dead ball. That is the reason why M. Peters is special. Look at the way he went to the goalkeeper. And the goalkeeper definitely should have all of this fault dropped on his table and asked a lot of questions. And I'm sure if he looks back to this, he would ask himself over a 1,001 question saying, what did I do? What a goal. What a way to get us started when it comes to goal scoring in the second leg of the semi-final match between Kogi and Kano FC. Wow, Kano have started with a statement of intent and it is simple, we want to get to the final. That's, yes, it should be a foul right there and it is, um, that's a good pass, and that's for sure with that good pass also. Kazim holding on to the ball. Kazim now passing, and we want to see how this does. Yes, I felt it should be an infringement, and it is for sure. He's about to cross, and Osho has crossed, and it might just be. No, it is not. I love what Olabode Thomas went and um, you can see right there but he found himself in no man's land but he was saved by his defenders although an infringement but this has led them into another trouble because the ball has returned to Kogeyevsi and he's a Jumezu having to you know hit that ball Olabode Thomas uh, the goalkeeper for Kano tried to save that but he couldn't and there is a corner and there is a goal it is a goal that is a goal for Kogi FC. I talked about the response and that is the way you respond when you are in the semi-final. Beautiful goal. Look at the way he set up himself. Beautifully beating goalkeeper all over body. If you have to beat a goalkeeper like this, you have to make it special. And he made it as special as possible. He made it a special goal and also a special equalizer. That is David. David can actually play good football. David has shown us that he is a good player and the way he scored that goal is something very, very massive. Look at it right there. This is where it should be. Semi-final, second leg, and everybody is turning up the style. Or Lale on David right there with the equalizer after M. Peters got us moving when it comes to goals in this game. And Kogi have been knocking and knocking, knocking and knocking over and over again and sometimes if you're persistent with your knocking even if it is said Finally, that's a foul that is slim um yes sir uh, uh, he is a, a young man uh, who does so well for himself um but we saw in the preliminary stages how some things they didn't go his way that's kole kole putting a crossing but goalkeeper all about it is is that a penalty goalkeeper all about they need to do more with his calculation when it comes to area ball because at this place he was nowhere to be found and that looked like um a hand to the ball but um the the law today shoulder cannot be calculated to be ham so ball and let's see once more amza oh it's the head not even the ham at all it's the head of amza and it saved the goalkeeper that that is Nihungu. Yes, I'm just confirming it. Okay, one of the defenders, right? I think that's the end of the first half. Yes, the uh, the referee has signaled them the end of the first half, and let's get to halftime. Still, Kogi FC one, Kano FC one.
My people, I want to tell you about this oil. The name is Kenzo oil. The oil is a very, very good oil, very good for your moto. In fact, Kenzo oil is a special oil because of a fully synthetic oil. It's good for your moto, it's good for your engine, it's good for every other engine where you want to use. This Kenzo oil, if you use it for your moto, I see your moto go to go seriously wherever. Use them for your moto to last long. Hey, Ayo, you don't just finish, Abi. Bring my sister's and come here, beg. Kenzo oil, Ababa. I have been asked to talk to sponsors. I really wanted to talk to you guys before. I know you sit at top monies, you know, of corporate organization. I know that your corporate social responsibility also is about giving back to the society. And I know that you've done quite a number of things across very many divides in our country. But I'd like for you to look in the direction of Niger Soccer Stars. We have very, very many talented footballers who are hoping that you will look at them, that you will give what they are doing, Philip, give what they are doing, some strength, so that they can be the best they can be. But what I promise you, that you have maximum visibility, maximum top on the mind awareness, maximum goodwill, you know, and that will be worth the while. Thank you, sponsors in advance. I hope you come in now. Watch out for Niger Soccer Star Season 2. New Ugo Edition. Niger Soccer Star Season 2. Hi, I am Rupert Ogenwa. I'm the CEO of Niger Soccer Stars. Watch out for Niger Soccer Star Season 2. New Eagles showing next year. But registration begins right now. Do you have what it takes to be a soccer star? If yes, this is an opportunity for you to be a part of the Niger Soccer Star Season 2. Register on www.nigersoccerstars.com slash register or www.sendmeniger.togetherasaword.com www.sendmeniger.com Yes, and the players are back out on the pitch and they are ready to go. It is Kogi FC1, Kanu FC1 and M. Peters has passed that ball. M. Peters look like he's not going back. M. Peters look like he will be sticking to that attacking role and maybe like he did in the first half, he will give us another goal in the second half. And at the end of the day, if this works out, maybe the coach might for just this um, uh, 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 maestro kind of move be acclaimed the best coach of the tournament because if you turn central defender in the same competition into central attacker then it works you should definitely get accolades for that i would just want to you know while away time and go but uh, from match day two it started to show signs that i really was this more and wow what a chance uzo dropping that ball but it wouldn't, it wouldn't cause any trouble at this moment. Wow, wow, what a ball, what a pass, what a way to go on that. I think sometimes when you see midfielders create, this is what gets them angry. They want to see you do more with that ball. Holding the ball, Kule will get us moving. Kule can be so quiet. But he's a warrior, he's a defensive midfielder. And one thing you know about defensive midfielder, they fight from start of the match to the end because that is what they do. They are the proper link between defense and attack. A good throw, and that should be an infringement because M. Peters has been stopped, and that's a technical foul. Any day, any time, I'll tell that player, you are smart. And it's to be. I said it, that if there is any word that we are to see constantly today, is M. Peters going up or toe-to-toe -to -toe with the defenders of Kogi FC, talking about Tobey 
and Harrison. Who gets to win this war? Is it the defenders or the attacker? Although, as it stands, Empitas is leading because he has gotten a goal of the defenders, but the defenders have been able to keep him at bay. This is a shot. A shot can be very slicky, but in this case, Nihungi came pains. Up. Is that pain, um, you know, gone? Or is that pain still locking around somewhere? I would like to know if the man is 100% good uh, because he's in a position where you can't afford to not be 100% fit, to not make mistakes, and to not do anything that would jeopardize the chances of the team. I'm sure everybody watching on this is enjoying what it is. When you say it's a semi-final, it should show. Kule. Okay, it is the referee who has spotted an infringement right there. And you can see these footballers. Look at Razak, who understands that ball should be there. He's trying to let the referee know it's happened way behind footballers and their antics. But the referee had said, hey, drop the ball, let us move on. It's already that, we've seen that both teams have given everything. Everything you can think of. Fights, good skill, good showing. It's there. Okay, the referee has said, hey, leave. It is an infringement on the Kano FC defender, and we leave from there. That is Arisin, and there is a turn. And that's a goal! It's a second goal for Kano FC. Who blinks first? Who gets the next goal? Is the man that was converted from the defense to the attack, M. Peters, that has gotten us the second goal, and that's was a mistake, I must say, or a miscalculation from the captain of Kogi FC talking about Harry. But there was something I said, Harry has not looked to be in 100% shape. He is being trouble, troubled with injury and right there, Niungu turning him around to get that cross in to M. Peters. He tried to, oh, that's Nas with the assist. What a turn, what a ball from Nas. And then Peter said, when you give a gift to a man, all he can say is thank you, I enjoyed that. Second goal by M. Peters, second goal for, for Kano FC, second goal for a team that looked like they might just be heading to the final, second goal to put this game in the hands of Kano FC, a second goal that might just be what to take Kogi FC out of the contention for winning this competition. But like we saw in the first half, he started with M. Peter. I wasn't malicious with that defending, but the referee had said, hey, leave. Let's us move on. And time is really not on the side of Kogi FC. And that's the final whistle. The referee has signaled the end of the game and it is one goal for Kogi FC and two for Kano FC. And it is Kano FC pulling all the way to the final. Look at the big smile on Hamza's face. Look at the waving and the handshake for Kano FC players. And they are even helping to console the Kogi FC uh, players because they had a good game. This game would have swung anywhere. We would have been any team winning and nobody would complain. Wow! What a game already. My name is Patrick Uzochuku. I play for Kano FC and I've been nominated to be the man of the match. Yeah, please, I need your vote. My voting code is 5497289. I repeat, 5497289. To save the stress, you can also vote for me on my Providence Bank account, which is showing on your screen right now. Please thank you. Your vote counts a lot for me. Thank you so much. My name is Hawefi Ifunwa Emmanuel, aka Parafe, and I've been nominated to be the man of the match. I play for Kano FC. Uh, please kindly vote for me. My voting code is 5497325. I repeat 5497325. To save you the stress, you can send the money to the Providence Bank account showing on your screen. Please kindly vote for me. Thank you so much. I love you. Good day, viewers. My name is Migba Peter Aluwalushi. I've been nominated to be man of the match. Please kindly vote for me. And my voting code is 
7277. Okay, to save you this stress, you can vote for me through my Providence Bank account, showing on the screen. Thank you. Good day, viewers. My name is Salam Lekon Gabriel, aka Marcelo. I'm playing for Enugu FC. I have been nominated to be the man of the match. Please, I want your support. I want you to vote for me. My voting code is 5497265. 5497265. You can also send money to my Providence Bank account, shown on the screen, to vote for me. Thanks. My name is Ajayo Poyemi Israel, aka Pobla. I've been nominated to be the man of the match and I will kindly need you to vote for me. My voting code is 5497336. 5497336. And showing on the screen is my Providence Bank account in which you can send money to it to vote for me. And I will be glad if you do. God bless. Hi viewers, my name is Joseph Tobachuko Valentine. I play for Menu Gersi. I'm nominated to be the man of the match. Please, I need your vote, and my voting code is 5497311. And on the screen is my previous bank account. In future, you can transfer money for me to vote for me. Thank you. My people, I want to tell you about this oil. The name is Kenzo Oil. The oil is a very, very good oil, well good for your moto. In fact, Kenzo oil is a special oil because of a fully synthetic oil. It's good for your moto, it's good for your engine, it's good for every other engine where you want to use. This Kenzo oil, if you use it for your moto, I see your moto going to go seriously wherever. Use them for your moto to last long. Hey, uh ayo, -huh. you don't just finish, I think. Bring my sister, I'm going come here back. Kenzo oil, la ba ba. Do you have what it takes to be a soccer star? If yes, this is an opportunity for you to be a part of the Niger Soccer Star Season 2. Register on www.nigersoccerstars.com slash register or www.sendmeniger.com www.sendmeniger.com It's the third place match at the ongoing Ninja Soccer Stars Football Reality TV show and the referees are leading the team out from the tunnel. Fans applauding and cheering their teams Man who has been a leader in all fronts, it is Arison. Ogo FC also, Ogo FC is standing in a 4 3 3 formation. And the referee. Okay, what you need to be sure about Ogo FC is that uh, Onana, their number one goalkeeper, is not in goal post today and uh, Wisdom is leading. The team out from let's behind. <laughs> so let's see if. Uh... And it is the spot for the third place. Because already in the final is Adamawa FC and Kano FC. Midfielders or defenders that will come for Yano. Vodinho has had that a couple of times. Straight up, it's a cross deep into the 
18 of it might be Sheriff and it's Sheriff, but it's way over the bar. Would have been a shocker right there because Sheriff can actually score goals. We've seen him do that. He controlled the ball, but spotting, just like um, we always say, defenders do not give up very unlike him. And uh, there is a train there. Papando can fight, and he's definitely there. He's gotten in. And there is a foul. How can that man take down two defenders? This man is definitely built like a rock. You can talk of the likes of Lukaku right there. This is massive. And I always love to watch uh, Izumezu because of the fighting spirit in the attack. Without not necessary. And that's Mohamed, Mohamed on the ball. Mohamed passing that ball, but it's to nobody. There is Marcelo. Marcelo couldn't still keep the ball. And there's movement. That's Pogba. There is an infringement spotted, and the referee is saying it is. And that was so equal to that. That is what it should be all about. There is a long throw. Is there Bube? Oh no, that was a wrong calculation from Praise Bube. But it was lucky that his defense was able to clear the line. He saved the keeper's blushes, and I can see Mohamed uh, about to take the corner kick. Mohamed is another player that had worries in the course of the tournament, but I think he has struggled off that. And they but Pogba couldn't hold on to that ball. Ogwe FC is still there. And there is Malumaizin passing to Wisdom. And it might just be, oh no. This is on characteristics of Wisdom losing such ball. But our reality is our reality. Wisdom has lost that goal. And it is Ogwe FC 0, Kogi FC 0. Kogi FC, Ezumezu almost got in. Wow, what a pass. That wasn't good enough. Look at the two coaches. And there is a Zumezu turning. He knows how to do that. He's putting a cross. Oh my world. And oh my world. That was another miss. A first miss kill. And the other was straight to the goalpost. What a miss by Kogi FC. And there is Mohamed, this Mohamed has been mesmerizing. There is another good cross. They cannot keep it in there. We're moving straight. There is a serving. I think the sun has been disturbing uh, Sharif. He's been squinting. He's been squeezing his looks. I don't know. Probably in the second half, if the sun keeps disturbing him, we'll see a better, a better Sharif. But he's asking for the ball. Juwan couldn't hold on to that. A long throw again. They know Izumezu can fight. Can the defender stand toe to toe? The defender can sure stand toe to toe. And I think he's understanding who Izumezu is as a striker because he will fight you on the ground, in the air, and every other place. Mohamed Mohamed is down. Uh, we know it uh, has his uh, nail yes. and bandage. But, but, but he told me that the knee doesn't worry him, that he just have the bandage just to guide. Let's see, we hope he, he stands up and plays because he's a good footballer and we don't want to miss such a footballer in just a few minutes. And, and he's looking, okay. Let's see how the cross will go. It's a good cross. It's a good nod and it's a goal. And it is Kogi FC getting the goal to get us started when it comes to goals on this day. Kogi FC 1, Ogwe FC 0. That is a beauty of a pass. That is a beauty of a pass. And like every striker will do around the world, when you get such sumptuous pass, you say thank you. And Elijah is so thankful for that pass. And you can see the way he calmly but calculatedly Nodded that ball straight beyond uh, the goalkeeper praise and he puts Kogi right ahead of Gwefsi. Ogwefsi needs to dig deep because it's been worrying times. Kogi has gotten their acts together. And that's uh, okay, Sharif. Oh, Sharif took the wrong route. And I'm sure next time he would learn to do more. Marcelo can, but the pass wasn't good enough. Koki FC are doing little by little and it might just be Mohammed, Mohammed, but Mohammed tried to be smart, but his smartness didn't work out. This is Pogba on the ball. 
and he has put the ball. There is an offside already. Juwo couldn't reach an early long throw as something like we see with JJ Okocha, and that's praise holding on to his ball so well. This is my baby. I won't let it drop. Can OBJ get to that ball? That is a foul. Definitely it's an infringement. And look at the way Ari, uh, Wisdom went down. But these players can definitely act. And that's OBJ and, and Wisdom at it again. What a snap out by Wisdom. I think this is very much on football like. Let's see what the referee would decide. I'm sure he will try to settle the quagmire between OBJ and Wisdom. That is what a fullback should do. That is what an attack sh attacker should do. But definitely, snapping out is not allowed. Snapping out is not allowed. This is a beautiful game. Uh -huh. The referee has given both of them yellow card. And it's so sad that... And the referee has given a yellow card to both OBJ and Wisdom. And right about now... Wisdom, is, wisdom has gotten red, a red card. Yeah, and card I think wisdom. wisdom is also saying something to the referee. The referee is pointing to the assistant referee, saying, listen to what he's saying to me. And wisdom should not be walking towards there. It should be walking out of the field. Like I've said earlier, that very good player, wisdom, should walk on his temper because it will take him nowhere. And that's the final whistle for the first half. It is Kogi FC 1, Ogo FC 0. I have been asked to talk to sponsors. I really wanted to talk to you guys before. I know you sit at top monies, you know, of corporate organization. I know that your corporate social responsibility also is about giving back to the society. And I know that you've done quite a number of things across very many divides in our country. But I'd like for you to look in the direction of Niger Soccer Stars. We have very, very many talented footballers who are hoping that you will look at them, that you will give what they are doing, Philip, give what they are doing, some strength, so that they can be the best they can be. But what I promise you, that you have maximum visibility, maximum top on the mind awareness, maximum goodwill, you know, and that will be worth the while. Thank you, sponsors, in advance. I hope you come in now. Watch out for Niger Soccer Star Season 2. New Ugo Edition. Niger Soccer Star Season 2. Hi, I am Rupert Ojenwa. I am the CEO of Niger Soccer Stars. Watch out for Niger Soccer Star Season 2. New Eagles showing next year. But registration begins right now. My name is Femi Okwabume, ex Niger International. Keep watching Ninja Soccer Stars reality TV show. Thank you. My people, I want to tell you about this oil. The name is Kenzo Oil. The oil is a very, very good oil, very good for Yamoto. In fact, Kenzo Oil is a special oil because of a fully synthetic oil. It's good for your motor, it's good for your engine, it's good for every other engine where you want to use. This kind of oil, if you use it for your motor, I see your motor go to go seriously wherever. Use them for your motor to last long. Hey, uh, Ayo, you don't just finish, Abi. Bring my sister, I'm going to come here back. Kenzo oil, Ababa. Do you have what it takes to be a soccer star? If yes, this is an opportunity for you to be a part of the Niger Soccer Star Season 2. Register on www.nigersoccerstars.com/register or www.
dot send me niger together as a word dot com www dot send me niger dot com and we are back out for the second half of this game I'm seeing changes being prepared Osho will be taking that position and we are on our way that's Osho first pass first movement good first pass wrong Daniel Phillips with that beautiful turning as a defender I love it Maybe Ari has been specially spoken to by the coach. That's Olawale. Maybe Ari has been specially spoken to by the coach. That's Olawale. Okay, good pass. TB Joshua is waiting for that ball. I feel he should do more. Or sure he's pacing down. And that is a defender's job. You clear your lines and you clear it good. Or sure was cleared alongside the ball. Oshaw is a big, big player and he has stepped in in the second half, taking decisions and now he's taking the corner kick. He's crossed into a delicate position. There is a good nodding, but it cannot stay. The goalkeeper is in no man's land and the goalkeeper looks like he might just have lost that ball. That's Stevie Joshua also losing that ball. There is a good shot, but it does not have the firepower that you expect it to have. Ovo and Marcelo both meeting each other. There is. Okay, Tobe was quick to react to the crossing. Okay, Tobe was quick to react to the crossing from TB Joshua. And there is a good, good pass. Can Daniel get past there? It cannot. It is a goal. And it's the man called Pakpendo Zumezu. Getting another goal. This is the reason why this man would always, always be in the attack for his team. And it is Kogi FC 2, Ogu FC 0. Ogu FC have got a lot to contend with now. There are two goals down and also a man down. That was a good pass straight to Osho. And Osho did all the rest with that cross and after that it was Pakpando with I thought he should be the one taking that cross and he's had a good cross and can you walk but the goalkeeper screamed and the goalkeeper was quick to that and the attacker was scared there is movement from Kogi FC Kogi FC can pass Kogi FC can move and there is a man that they love oh look at this striker a return ball oh my goodness in and do his own part look at it right there the man is a very very big man and I'm sure he needs to be on that pitch in no time. Ovodio is getting that ball in a position he loves, in a position he likes. And I'm sure his teammates are saying, this is how we want it. And he's put a cross in. And it's a... Oh my goodness! Why no communication? There was a good ball from Ovodio beating the goalkeeper and straight to the crossbar. He came back sweetly to two of FC players. But Juwon and Pogba were at each other. But Dio is a midfielder. And one of the things that you know about midfielders is the fact that they love to show both. They love to show off. We're having a substitution there. And it is Juwon being pulled out for Ebin to go in. Let's see. I was talking about Ebin while he was warming up. He's a good, good midfielder. And he might be Pependo. And it's another goal. And then... Wow. What a chance missed. What a chance missed. Was there an offside before that? If it wasn't, then that was a terrible, terrible miss for a man that I'm sure the moment the ball got to his feet, Osho came in with some beautiful touches. And already, Olawale has got him behind him. And he tries to get a good cross, but that couldn't go through. And it is a throw-in, and Olawale is good. Can they... And they, it's Ezumezu and Osho, and he's put it to space. But there is a Daniel Philip, and Daniel Philip has been beaten. 
And it's a goal! Osho right there. With his intention, Osho was trying to have a cross, but it ended up in the net of goalkeeper praise. And that makes it Kogi FC 3, Ogo FC 0, and that's a good one. And that's the last kick of the match. And that is the final kick of the game. Absolutely amazing for Kogi FC. My name is Patrick Uzochuku. I play for Kano FC and I've been nominated to be the man of the match. Yeah, please, I need your vote. My voting code is 549-7289. I repeat, 549-7289. To save the stress, you can also vote for me on my Providence Bank account, which is showing on your screen right now. Please thank you. Your vote counts a lot for me. Thank you so much. My name is Hawefi Ifunwa Emmanuel, aka Parafi, and I've been nominated to be the man of the match. I play for Kano FC. Uh, please kindly vote for me. My voting code is 5497325. I repeat 5497325. To save you the stress, you can send the money to the Providence Bank account showing on your screen. Please kindly vote for me. Thank you so much. I love you. Good day, viewers. My name is Miba Peter Luwaloshi. I've been nominated to be man of the match. Please kindly vote for me. And my voting code is 549-7277. Okay. To save you the stress, you can vote for me through my Providence Bank account showing on the screen. Thank you. Good day, viewers. My name is Talam Lekon Gabriel, aka Marcelo. I'm playing for Enugu FC. I have been nominated to be the man of the match. Please, I want your support. I want you to vote for me. My voting code is 5497265. 5497265. You can also send money to my previous back account shown on the screen to vote for me. Thanks. My name is Ajayo Poemi Israel, aka Pobla. I've been nominated to be the man of the match and I will kindly need you to vote for me. My voting code is 5497336. 5497336. And showing on the screen is my previous bank account in which you can send money to it to vote for me. And I will be glad if you do. God bless. Hi viewers, my name is Joseph Tobechuko Valentine. I play for Menu Gersi. I am to be the man of the match. Please, I need your vote. And my voting code is 5497311. 5497311. And on the screen is my previous bank account. In future, you can transfer money to me to vote for me. Thank you. I have been asked to talk to sponsors. I really wanted to talk to you guys before. I know you sit at top monies, you know, of corporate organization. I know that your corporate social responsibility also is about giving back to the society. And I know that you've done quite a number of things across very many divides in our country. But I'd like for you to look in the direction of Niger Soccer Stars. We have very, very many talented footballers who are hoping that you will look at them, that you will give what they are doing. Philip, give what they are doing some strength so that they can be the best they can be. But what I promise you is that you have maximum visibility, maximum top on the mind awareness, maximum goodwill, you know, and that will be worth the while. Thank you, sponsors, in advance. I hope you come in now. Watch out for Niger Soccer Star Season 2. New Ugo Edition. Niger Soccer Star Season 2. Hi, I am Rupert Ogenwa. I am the CEO of Niger Soccer Stars. Watch out for Niger Soccer Star Season 2. New Eagles showing next year. But registration begins right now. My people. I want to tell you about this oil. The name is Kenzo oil. The oil is a very, very good oil, well good for your motor. In fact, Kenzo oil is a special oil because of saying a fully synthetic oil. It's good for your motor, it's good for your engine, it's good for every other engine where you want to use. This Kenzo oil, if you use it for your motor, I see your motor going to go see really well. Use them for your motor to last long. Hey, you don't just finish, I'll be bring my sister, I'm going to come here back. Enjoy. 
Do you have what it takes to be a soccer star? If yes, this is an opportunity for you to be a part of the Niger Soccer Star Season 2. Register on www.nigersoccerstars.com slash register or www.sendmeniger.com www.sendmeniger.com My name is Falan Android Bimu. I'm a goalkeeper. I was inspired by Edwin Van der Sar of Manchester United because he's a great goalkeeper. He saved balls from getting into the net. He has a very good balance, stamina, diving, and he's a very disciplined man. My dream is to become the next future Van der Sar, keeping in the big clubs. Like my dreams is to keep in the big clubs and play in Europe, Asia, and play in the highest level internationally. And just soccer star has impacted on me by meeting the ex Super Eagles players such as Femi Okpabumi, Ufai Deize, Ikeshorumu and the exposure with the experience I've learned here. My brother, my parents and my friends are my biggest supporters in my football career. The nasty experience I've encountered in my football career, first the traffic in Nigeria, you know the situation, then criticism. I'm a goalkeeper of a good, balanced, with a loud voice and the counting of my post size and controlled my defense and a balanced guy. My name is Kola Ololu, I'll show you for me, Emmanuel. I'm a goalkeeper. I have goalkeepers I look forward to, to be like when I grow up as a footballer, professional footballer, like Andre Onana, Van der Sar, Casillas, Mendy, Vicente Yama, Delia Yunuba, like that. I wish to be like them. The nasty experience I encountered in football, firstly, with my parents. Because my parents does not want me to play football. But as time goes on, they, have, they didn't have any option than just to allow me to do that. Secondly, my neighborhood. Then, I just need to push myself forward, keep myself moving, and I know I'm going places. Apart from God, I have two people in my life that support me very, very well. Firstly, my parents. Then secondly, my cousin. His name is Mr. Kola Akimbade. He was there for me when I have nothing, when I'm down, support me throughout my throughout this career. Nigeria Soccer Stars impacted so many things. They gave me the opportunity to, uh, to have a talk with the ex-internationals, the likes of Femi Okpabumi, Ifan Yudeze, and Ikeshorumu. My dreams as a goalkeeper. I wish I wish to play in the top, top clubs in Europe, in Asia. My name is Prince Festus Ibubi. I play as a goalkeeper on the field of play. The goalkeeper that inspires me most is Peter Cech of Chelsea Football Club. NSS has imparted in me in the likes of exposure and also meeting the likes of ex Super Eagles goalkeeper, which is Ike Shirumu, and the likes of Ifan Udezi and Femi Okwabumi. Wow, it's a great pleasure to meet them, and that's how NSS has impacted me. My dream is to play as a professional footballer in Europe and also to play in a reputable club in Europe and to become one of the best goalkeepers in the world. A nasty experience I've encountered in my football career is when I had an injury in my right ankle. Yeah, that was a nasty experience which kept me for like a month out of football. But I bless God I'm, I'm okay now. Hey, my biggest supporters in my football career are my parents, my mom, my dad, my relations, my friends, and also the church. Yeah, those are my biggest supporters. As a goalkeeper, I'm courageous, I'm confident, and I'm also calm, working in my defense and 
Yeah, I'm good. I'm good as a goalkeeper. My name is Danny Ayonuba. I'm a goalkeeper. The goalkeeper that inspired me to play soccer is my dad, Dele Ayonuba, and my uncle, Oluyori Obaru. Ninja Soccer Stars has impacted on me to showcase my talent to the world. My dreams are to play in Europe, to be one of the best goalkeepers in the world. My biggest supporter in my career is my dad, Dele Ayonuba, and my uncle, Oluyori Obaru. As a goalkeeper, I have a good reflexes, a good footwork, and I'm good in catching penalty as well. I do not have any worse experience in my goalkeeping career, but in case anyone comes, I hope it will not be too much on me. My name is Thomas Labodi Ajibono, the proudly goalkeeper. Goalkeeper that inspires me is Edward Mendy, that keeps for Chelsea FC. I love the way he keeps. He makes great saves. He used the ball very well. Nigeria Soccer Stars showcase my talent to the world. My dream in life is to become a great goalkeeper. My biggest supporter is my mom and my aunt and my cousin in the US. My worst experience was last three month where I engaged in a match where I broke my hands and now I'm better and stronger than before. As a goalkeeper, I have a good grip and I have the strength to end up a match and a good stamina also. My name is Saka Michael Olaoli. I play as a goalkeeper. Um, my biggest inspiration is from Testegen and Nigerian legendary goalkeeper, Enyama. Anytime I watch them, I get inspired, so I love the way Testegen catches the ball, his techniques, his diving and all. Each time I watch him, I'm inspired. My dream is to play football professionally one day and one day also to become one of the greatest goalkeepers. Nigeria Soccer Stars has impacted me by giving me their platform to showcase my ability and by also instilling um, teamwork and uh, discipline in me. Uh, the nasty experience I've encountered is when I was playing uh, a match and I got injured on my eye here. Um, it took some while and uh, I, I, I believe I'm fine. Um, my biggest support is basically my parents and my family in general. As a goalkeeper, I love playing with teamwork, um, cooperation and I can also play under pressure. My name is Ikebudo Ifechuku David and I'm a goalkeeper. Uh, the goalkeeper that inspired me uh, Alison Beckham and Manuel Noya. Because of the way their confidence, the way they control their defense, the way they keep their moves, their footwork and other things. Uh, Nigeria Soccer Star that has imparted in me exposure and you know in Nigeria it's not easy to see an ex-international players. So they, they gave me the opportunity. I'm a goalkeeper who loves, I love to be confident when I'm always in the post. I love to be like the one at the top. I love to be the person controlling the field and not my player or my coach controlling me. You know, my dreams are to play at the top of the leagues like Champions League, Premier League and also in World Cups. Well, the worst experience I had was when I had ankle and knee injury. So I couldn't play and I go to the field, watch my other fellow teammates play the match, seeing them lose sometimes, sometimes they win. Well, the person who supported me most are my mom, my dad and my siblings. My greatest goalkeeper hero is Alison Becker because of his confidence, the way he controls his defense, the way he moves, and also I'm also his number one fan. I have been asked to talk to sponsors. I really wanted to talk to you guys before. I know you sit at top monies, you know, of corporate organization. I know that your corporate social responsibility also is about giving back to the society. And I know that you've done quite a number of things across very many divides in our country. But I'd like for you to look in the direction of Niger Soccer Stars. We have very, very many talented footballers who are hoping that you will look at them, that you will give what they are doing. Philip 
give what they are doing some strength so that they can be the best they can be. But what I promise you is that you have maximum visibility, maximum top of the mind awareness, maximum goodwill, you know, and that will be worth the while. Thank you, sponsors in advance. I hope you come in now. Watch out for Niger Soccer Star Season 2. New Ugo Edition. Niger Soccer Star Season 2. Hi, I am Rupert Ogenwa. I am the CEO of Niger Soccer Stars. Watch out for Niger Soccer Star Season 2. New Eagles showing next year. But registration begins right now. My people, I want to tell you about this oil. The name is Kenzo oil. The oil is a very, very good oil, well good for your moto. In fact, Kenzo oil is a special oil because of saying a fully synthetic oil. It's good for your moto, it's good for your engine, it's good for every other engine where you want to use. This Kenzo oil, if you use it for your moto, I see your moto go to go seriously wherever. Use them for your moto to last long. Hey, Ayo, you don't just finish, Abi. Bring my sister, I'm going to come here back. Do you have what it takes to be a soccer star? If yes, this is an opportunity for you to be a part of the Niger Soccer Star Season 2. Register on www.nigersoccerstars.com slash register or www.sendmeniger.com www.sendmeniger.com